but it's uh, <laughs> coming this way. <sighs> Today we're launching in the swamp. Isn't that beautiful? Might be able to catch a redfish and a drum in this stuff. Uh, anyways, launching by the White Street Pier, just uh, east of it. A little private boat ramp, public land, but no one knows about it. And the hardest thing is just getting parking, but I saw some spots open, so I'm okay. Anyways, let's head out. Launching out of Key West today is I went all the way out to Geiger Key, and uh, I forgot this, my box that had uh, my driver's license, cell phone, and fishing license. So that's, if I was just missing one, I wouldn't mind. Or even if I was just missing two, I wouldn't mind. Actually, if I just had my fishing license, I wouldn't mind. Or my cell phone, because that's got it as well, but I didn't have any of it. So anyways, that's why we're launching from here. So let's get out of the swamp and head out to those storms. So conditions today are flat calm. The only reason why these waves are here is because of all the boats and jet skis and cruise ships. Um, still kind of a sketchy little day though. You gotta be very careful about these days. He's got that storm cell there. Got that storm cell there. And then you got the usual storm cells here on this side of the keys. And they're a little bit different because they're usually more on the Gulf side. So these are hanging on the Atlantic side. And then I'm, you got, I'm not quite sure which direction that clump is going. And then same with this one. Should be climbing up with the keys here, but I just don't want to make sure. You definitely don't want them to combine. That would be bad. But uh, otherwise, it looks like a sweet calm day. I'm going to head out to the reef and uh, go on the outside and see what it looks like. I uh, got the emerald water today, that's a little different too, but we're still uh, inside the reef. But, looks pretty good. Check out that clarity. That's at uh, 30 feet. You can see my hands <laughs> not even in the water. That is pretty darn clear. I can see the definition of the rocks and the corals down there in the sand. Pretty clear. there is problems <laughs> that's one of those beast mode, st mode uh, summer storms that you gotta be really careful about I gotta kind of keep an eye on where that boy is going um, Key West is right there you can barely make out the naval air station radars and stuff I'm just kind of at the edge there is where I'm uh, launched from but still Key West now over there would be Geiger Key. Uh, you got to take it as a grain of salt as well is that um, most of these storm cells follow the island, the key chains. But like I said, that's no guarantee. You just you just got to be very careful on it. So if it starts, if it's working its way this way, then I'm heading that way. I'm not going, the, the initial reaction is, oh, get the shore. The problem is that is shore and then you're going to get hammered. Whereas if you just stay parallel with it and wait it out and maybe in by an hour it's gone and it's back to clear again and you never got a raindrop but uh, the risk though is if it comes straight out then you can't get away from it and then it's not pretty then basically I just need to make sure that I can get inside the reef in the Hawks Channel area and then I'll just have to take my luck with it and ride it out I don't want to get caught on the outside of the reef and I don't want to get caught on the reef outside the reef and I could get blown tin buck too 
and that's the problem why I don't like to launch out of Key West is there's nothing out that way. I mean, if, if the wind starts coming and blowing to the west and I have problems with the motor or something happens to me and I can't paddle or pedal, I go with the wind and it's that way and there is no more land that way. So that's why I kind of like being up in Geiger Key if I have problems. I'll generally drift towards and end up maybe Key West or out that way and a little bit closer. But uh, anyways, got to keep an eye on that bad boy. That thing's looking beastly. Now it looks like it might be coming this way. Oh, that's not good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head east and maybe try to get around it. Because it looks like it's traveling west along the keys there. So just to be safe, I'm going to go parallel with it uh, and head east and hopefully get around it. Yeah, it's starting to chase me. jumping around here so we can put a line out probably end up with a big barracuda but it's all right Let's recap what just happened. That storm came, but you can see the sun beat it back. So right here is like a real volatile point. That's why I hate launching out of Key West. Being it's the last end of that island chain, storms follow it or storms get attracted to it. And right around here, all that crap always happens. And I hate the fact that there's no salvation in any of that direction. I'd much rather be 10 miles that way in my Geiger Key hour area. Because I hardly get any of these damn storms. Here we are in like 5 feet of water. That's not hard again. So now I gotta worry about running aground. But 
That's summer storms for ya. They're real sketchy. People worry about sharks, but it's those storms that'll wipe you off this earth. I mean, there's just nothing you can do. They're so unpredictable. It came down that way, stopped, stuck right there, started blowing this way, and then just dissipated. It would have been big problems if it kept going that way because it would have ran right over me and took me out that way. Those waves were small compared to what they can be because those would get to six to eight foot just like that. And then there's no way really to fight them head on. You have to kind of go at an angle. And with that much rollover, yeah, that's problems. I would have burned up all my gas just trying to maintain where I was at. And if it lasted like a half an hour to hour, I don't know how far I'd be back. I might not be able to get back. So just gotta be real careful. Keep an eye on stuff. The weather forecast was five knots and less all throughout the day with occasional chances of rain and thunderstorm. Luckily, no thunder. There was a couple lightning hits, but <coughs> That's when it can get kind of sketchy. I've gotten videos of where I got hit in some uh, thunder lightning storms and stuff and got s stuck out here where I couldn't get back in because of the thunder. But you can see everybody else bailed early. But it'll, it'll calm down now. I kind of cruised with that uh, sports fisher boat right up there. You can kind of see it. That's a big 60, 65 foot. Yeah. Yacht sports fisher, but he was just kind of waiting with me just to see what the storm was going to do. <coughs> and now that it's kind of tailing in, he's heading in, so kind of the same deal. It was nice knowing I had a big boat out there that if it got real nasty, I would have just cut over to him and jumped on his boat. But we're good. All right, we're inside the reef. Back to flat calm, no death clouds anywhere. <laughs> so uh, instead of just heading right in, I'm gonna. I didn't. I don't have any light tackle stuff, so I just got my heavy duty rig. But I added a little short piece of a 20 pound uh, fluorocarbon, and then I've had a one of my um, little flukes here that I was using for the uh, tarpon and stuff. But I put a uh, split shot on the end. I'm gonna just do it uh, bouncing on the bottom. There's, it's uh, 20 to 30 feet here, and see what we can pull up. And as you can see, storms come, storms go. And we are like flat dead calm out here. And there's the sailboats out getting ready for the sunset. But they're just flash storms, just gone. Hits and runs. But that's the dangers of uh, summer storms. You just gotta, they're not unpredictable. You just gotta manage them. Balance between if it's worthwhile to go out or not and uh, call it a day if you're not too sure. Anyways, have a good one.